Hello everyone, this is your Katna here. So in this video, we are going to see a problem on coordinate geometry. So let's get started. Question. Let A 2 comma 3 and B 2 comma minus 4 be two points. If P lies on the x axis such that A P equals to 3 by 7 A B, then find the coordinates of Okay, so here we are given two points A and B. Solution given points A two comma three and B two comma minus four. Okay, if P lies on X axis. If P lies on X axis, then the coordinates will be of the form some X comma 0. So, P is a X comma 0. Let P X comma 0 lies on the X axis. Okay, such that we are given a condition that AP equals to 3 by 7 of AB. So, we are given a condition also given AP equals to 3 by 7 times AB. So, now we are going to find the coordinates of P. So, we are going to find this point, the unknown value x, say. Okay, using the given condition. Okay, so AP equals to 3 by 7 into AB by AB, right? So, now we know that the distance between Two points is given by D equals to square root of X2 minus X1 whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square. Okay. Now we are going to apply this formula to find A, B and a. Let's consider the condition. A, B equals to 3 by 7 into A, B. So, this implies square root of you are having A equals to 2 comma 3 and P x comma 0. So, A, P is x2 minus x1, x minus 2 whole square plus y2 0, y1 3, y2 minus y1 whole square which is equals to 3 by 7 into square root of. Now, we are going to find the distance A, B x2 minus x1, 2 minus 2 whole square plus minus 4 minus 3 whole square. Okay. So, this becomes Q square on both sides. You will get square root of x minus 2 whole square plus 0 minus 3 whole square whole square. So, square root of the two terms whole square equals to 3 by 2 sorry 3 by 7 into square root of 2 minus 2 plus minus 4 minus 3 whole square whole square. Okay. So, now the square and 
root gets cancelled. So you will get square for this also. 3 by 7. Right? You are squaring on both sides. Squaring. Fine. So you will get x minus 2 whole square plus minus 3 whole square equals to 3 square is 9 divided by 7 square is 49 into 2 minus 2 whole square is 0 plus minus 4 minus 3 is minus 7 whole square. Okay. If the square root and square gets cancelled, we will get this. Okay. This implies x minus 2 whole square or you can apply the formula a square a plus sorry a minus b whole square since a minus b whole square equals to a square plus b square minus 2ab right so this implies x square plus 4 minus 4x plus minus 3 whole square is 9 equals to 9 by 49 into minus 7 square is 49 so this 49 and 49 gets cancelled so you'll get x square plus 4 minus 4x plus 9 equals to 9. Again, 9 and 9 gets cancelled. So, you can write it as, okay, write like this. Write as it is, which is equals to 0. You can write it as x minus 2 whole square equals to 0. So, we can again write it as x minus 2 into x minus 2 equals to 0. So, finally, you will get x equals to 2 comma 2. Both are same. So, you can consider x equals to 2. You will take x minus 2 equals to 0. For the first one and for the second one x minus 2 equals to 0, we will get x equals to 2 and x equals to 2. This is what we have written here. x equals to 2 comma 2. Right? So now we got unknown x. So therefore x equals to 2. So our point P which lies on the x-axis is therefore p 2 comma 0 is the point which is or which lie on the x-axis okay so, we got the coordinates of P. Our coordinates of P is 2 comma 0. The coordinates of P. Therefore, the coordinates of P is 2 comma 0. Okay. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from coordinate geometry. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.